Oh, time to open some CSGO cases. Shattered web. Nice. Look how many cases I'm gonna open. Time to buy some keys. There we go. Oh no, I don't have enough money on my Steam wallet. I have 1.5 euro and it costs 40. Well, I guess I'm gonna add some funds. Okay, there we go. 40 euro. Time to add the fun. No, stop. Whatever you do, don't add funds on Steam. No matter if you're gonna buy skins or if you're gonna buy games or what you're gonna do, you should think twice before you just blindly add money from your credit card or your PayPal to your Steam wallet. Because there are ways you can get much more money on Steam than you actually spend. Now this should be very obvious for many people that already do it, but I was streaming the other day and when I told people in chat not to put in money on Steam and show them how I do it, so many people were just amazed and shocked that you could do this because they just simply hadn't thought about it before. So what I do is I don't just put money on Steam, no, I buy skins or items that I can sell on Steam for real money. So say for example I was going to open a lot of cases, if I just deposited all the money here I would be spending 100% of the money that are used to open cases, which means 2.5 euro per key plus the cost of the case. Now say instead if I went to a CSGO marketplace and bought an item to sell on the Steam market, I could be making a lot more profit this way. And for this example I used Skin Baron and Bit Skins, the cheapest one I found was available on Skin Baron. So in this example I'm searching for a Butterfly Knife Doppler because they're very expensive and there's a decent difference on Steam and on the marketplace sites. And here I could buy this Butterfly Doppler for 685 euro. And if we look at the sales history I might be able to snag it for a bit less, maybe 650. But now this this one is the only one that's available, so let's say that I buy this one for 685 euro. Boom! There we go. Now I have it in my inventory and everything is very good. I spent 685 euro, so we are currently minus 684 euro. Wow, that looks beautiful. And yeah, this is a phase 4. I had it before. I'm not actually going to sell this one. And if we look at butterfly dopplers on the Steam market, you can see that the lowest one listed is 1,030 euro. That's a pretty big difference from 685. And there's even instant buy orders for 913 euro. But if we just sell it like this, we're not taking into account the Steam marketplace fee. So I made this handy little calculator where we can input the price, which is 685 euro, which is what we bought it for. And we can see by the sales, some of them are selling for 1060, 1080, 1030, and a lot of them are insta selling for around 900. But in this case, let's say we're being slow and we list it for 1028 euro. So 1028 euro after fee will give us 893 euro, which means that we profit just by buying this item 208 euro. That's 30% difference after. After the fee. That means that we only spent 685 euro, but we ended up with 893 euro on our Steam wallet. Now yes, I did use a very expensive example in this video, but it's just to show you guys how you do it. You buy items that you find on marketplaces for cheaper than what they're selling for on the Steam market. Now there's a lot of items which are pretty good. For example, this M9 Binet Marble Fade, you could buy it for 5 585 right now. It's 827 euro on the Steam market. So for this item, after the fees, you would get 719 euro. That's almost 37% difference. So in both of these examples, you would almost get 100 keys for free. This is, of course, if you are already going to be spending 525 euro on the Steam market. So in both of these cases, if you were going to spend around 5-600 euro on your Steam wallet, you could be getting basically 200 euro for free every time by not just depositing but buying an item and then selling it.
Now, of course, there's gonna be a lot of items which are not gonna be good. I searched for a while and I found a bunch of items that basically had the exact same price on the Steam market as some of the marketplace sites. So obviously, you'll have to do your own research and, you know, look into a few items and see which item would give you the most amount of free money. And also, it could be good splitting your transaction into, for example, two or three different items if you're doing a lot. And while you're researching where you should buy these skins from that you're going to sell, then there's a lot of places you can buy from. All of the CSGO marketplaces, you can probably buy from friends if they're selling skins. One thing Swedish people do a lot is they post on Facebook that they're buying or selling skins. And I just searched for literally 30 seconds and I found this guy. And he's selling these four items. And I checked some of them are not that good priced, but the Karambit Doppler for 4,550 Swedish crowns would end up being 448 euro and if we look at the Cambit Doppler on Steam, it's listed for almost 580 euro. And sure, it's not as big as the other options I found, but it's still a 12% difference. 54 euro that you're getting for free if you're gonna spend this much money on Steam anyways. Which is 26 keys. And if you're gonna open cases or spend money on Steam, maybe you get a crazy knife in those cases. Or you can spend this extra 54 euro on a really nice new video game you found on Steam or something. I don't know. It's just free money if you're gonna spend the money on Steam anyways. But this is basically how I always do when I'm going to open cases or I make trade-up videos. For example, in my 1000 Operation Broken Fan case opening spreadsheet, which I've already made a video about on this channel, I wrote that each case was 60 cent, each key was 2.1 euro, and the total cost was 2.7k. And this is true. This is how much I spent from my Steam wallet, but this is not at all what I spent in terms of how much money I actually spent out of my pocket. Let's assume that we get around 35% for each item if we get good items extra. That means that I actually spent 35% less than 2.7k, which means I probably spent around 1.6k or 1.7k of real money to get all of this on my Steam wallet. Now, I hope you guys understand what I mean. It's much better to buy items and sell them on the Steam market for more than just depositing raw from your credit card or your PayPal because that's real money. What you have in your Steam wallet, that's not real money. That's Steam wallet money. So it's worth less than real real money. I hope you guys understand what I mean and why it's better to buy items and I hope I helped maybe five people to learn this new way instead of just spending their hard-earned cash they can get a little bit for free and uh, that's basically the purpose of this video. And now I'm going to go rip off my penis because I still spent 1.6k on that worthless 1000 case opening. Very nice.